Hi class, so in this video I'm going to continue with the previous example um, How to read your property table for water vapor type of working fluid Alright, so let's have a look what uh, the example that we have here So this is an example number 4 with next approach Where given to you pressure and quality of X And you need to find your temperature, your internal energy and what was the phase description so what is the meaning of X? So from your notes, X is actually a uh, saturated vapor mass over the total mass where you have mass in the form of gas over mass in the form of fluid plus gas. As you can see, this is the line where the formations of liquid change into your vapor. Right? So since given to you pressure, you are going to, and this is, given to you x so uh, automatically you know that uh, this uh, problem takes place in this region so your phase description will be saturated mixture right okay and given to you 800 kilopascal so you are going to read from your table e5 so this is your table E5 given 800 kilopascal. What is the value of your internal energy? As you can see here, you have your UF, your UFG and your UG. So this value at your TV diagram is actually this one. UF is the value at this point, saturated liquid line. UG is the value at this point, saturated gas line. And this one is the middle of this value right so we label as ufg where the x is equal to 0 0.5 because the value from here this is zero until the fully changes into gas will be denoted as 1.0 right and the question asks you exactly at 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 must be larger than 0 0.5 so we Assume that it must be around uh, this point at this line, right? But what will what will be your u value? As you can see at this point, this is the u value. At half, x is equal to half. This is the u value. At fully saturated gas, this is the u value. So at zero point seven, what will be the value? So we are going to make use of this equation. We are going to make use of these uh, general equations to find your internal energy. In fact, this general equation that represents Y can be used to find all the other uh, ex extensive properties such as enthalpy, entropy or specific volume. But in this particular question, we are going to use this general equation to find your U value. So we substitute this one into as UF x UFG. And we already obtained this UF and UFG from your property table here at 800. So your UF and UFG is this much, right? So we substitute into these equations. And finally, you are going to have your U at this point, 0 0.7 is 219.24 kilojoule per kg. Therefore, uh, let's have a look back at 0 0.7 here. The value is this much, right? So it, if we just want to double check with your calculation, so it must be less than your UG here, which is 2,500. This one is 2,019, right? So let us recap back. When you have this type of question, when given to you pressure and the value of X, what you need to do first is if the question given you pressure, so you are going to read from your table E5. If the question gives you temperature instead of pressure, so you are going to read it from table E4. Where you have the first column is temperature. Step 2. What you will need to do is, you need to make use of this general equation. Depends on what type of extensive property you are looking for. Is it internal energy, enthalpy, 
entropy or specific volume. So you are going to change this y into the, the extensive properties that you are looking for. And you make use of uh, the value that you obtain from the table and you calculate for the u at this particular point. And finally, you double check your answers, your calculation with the value that you obtain. This is your UF, this is the mixture at 0 0.5, this is the UG and your value 0 0.7 is at this point. Since this process is happening at saturated liquid vapor region, so your temperature can be obtained just next to your pressure value. So in this case, 800, the temperature is 170.41. Uh, degree C and the U is you already obtained it here and face description is saturated mixture all right so that is how you solve your problem when given to you this kind of informations where you have your pressure or temperature and the x value here. In next video, there will be another example where you are going to have to use interpolations in your superheated table.